Wednesday morning time, my dear friends, exactly 29 and a half minutes after 10. Akash Money, 106.5 FM Music for the Mind and the Spirit. The following is a presentation of Kausha Buddha. Know your foods, all claims made of those of the appetizer and not of the station. Good morning, listeners on Radio Akash Money and those who are listening via streaming akashwaniradio.co.tt and the worldwide viewers who are watching these programs on youtube.com you are a welcome to this program know your foods presented by tau shobuddha engineered by kamal ratna good morning everyone a program to educate you about various ingredients, whole wheat flour, basmati rice, Himalayan rock salt, coconut oil, Sri Gun blend of spices, and all that you need to know for a balanced and healthy living. Of course, we are coming to you this morning with the complements of deep frozen foods, tasty, hygienic, and wide range of samosas, naans, alu paratha, paneer paratha and soon by next week will be available for the first time Indian kulfi, malai faluda, mango, tutti frutti flavors and few other types of samosa like chili paneer, mixed vegetable, all these will be available throughout Hilo stores, Prince Singh's Puja Bhavan in QREP, Price Club, Cost Price, Better Deal in El Socorro and various other supermarkets. For any wholesale inquiry you can call me at 683-8587 just to recapitulate I am sure you are planning on, if you have not changed your lifestyle, switch over to stone grind whole wheat flour, naturally good and life invigorating. Use coconut oil which has many qualities, many things that you cannot even imagine. And time to time I will keep on speaking on that, fire salt a blend of Himalayan rock salt, pink Himalayan rock salt and cayenne pepper, Lakshmi coconut oil, Surabhi coconut oil, deep and nanak ghee and deep frozen foods. A spice is one of the most important ingredient in your food. As man evolved, his ingenuity allowed him to explore all that nature has in treasure. In the old days, herbs were collected from forests, hilltops, plains and river beds as these grew there. But there was no organized effort to grow these herbs. These herbs were used for medicinal purposes as well as to flavor and delight cooking. Almost all civilizations and culinary styles use herbs and spices to varying degrees. However, Indians have used herbs and spices more comprehensively than any other civilization. Each herb has flavor, medicinal qualities and taste. However, when these are used as combinations, complementing one another, the value of such combination is enhanced many folds. Besides Indians, no other culinary style has explored these combinations so extensively. I admire the ingenuity in creating special combinations for special vegetables and meats. And in doing so, Many factors were also taken into account so that the particular dish becomes not only tasty, instead easily digestible as well. It is all because of special blends created for these dishes. In subsequent 
programs i will keep on speaking to you about different blends these blends are presented to you as shri gun blend of spices a wide range of blends for biryani chicken shahi paneer butter paneer sambar garam masala and many other things i was told by one of the arab people people from lebanon arabian countries and syrian syria that they have always found that there is the spices available in trinidad do not suit to their cuisines but shrigun blend of spices complements their dishes very much and these spices and their combinations are very much in demand with these communities lebanese arabs and syrians today i will speak to you about chili and its various varieties chili peppers are used around the world to make countless variety of sauces known as hot sauce chili sauce pepper sauce in turkey in tunisia in north africa all these places different types of chili sauce are made and are used extensively in indian cooking multiple uses are there for chilies from simple snacks like vegetables where chilies are dipped in butter and fried to wonderfully complex curries the we make a pakoda out of chili the butter is prepared and the whole chili is dipped into that and then it is deep fried also sometimes the chili is filled with the minced meat or potato filling and then coated with the butter and then used the leaves of the chili they are not as bitter as the fruit itself but they are also used in certain cuisines like filipino cuisines chilies are the most common spice used and cultivated in india and it is grown nearly in all parts of the country hills and plains varieties differ in taste color and bitterness chili pepper is the fruit of a plant from the genius capsicum members of the family there is chili pepper comes out of kashmir known as kashmiri pepper it is very bright red in color but mildly bitter almost you can say it is not bitter but the color is so good that it is used for coloring known as degi mirch also or kashmiri chili powder it is used for coloring instead of using the artificial color which are organic substances and harmful so naturally we can use the kashmiri mirch for coloring the gravies also we have a local product called kuku which is antioxidant and good for coloring in addition to that there is a particular herb called ratan josh it comes out of kashmir it is a very brittle bark of a tree and when it is put on the hot oil it not only gives the color but it gives fragrance antioxidant qualities and many other things to the food that you eat then there is a most important variety of the pepper is known as cayenne pepper cayenne pepper is known as the horn pepper cow horn pepper bird pepper and it is powdered and it is red pepper it is not so hot it is called cayenne named after the city of cayenne in french guiana and it is an important and it is one of the best variety of the chilies available it has many herbal qualities i will speak to you a little bit of the qualities of this and why did i use cayenne pepper to add to the himalayan rock salt and create the combination of fire salt so this i will explain and then proceed to the others cayenne pepper and the heart health it helps in 
the heart clearing the heart arteries the important the 17 points which i want to mention to you is that these herbs are used cayenne pepper is used in as a herb medicinally and in various other forms when we were looking into bringing the fire salt we chose research on the human heart and human digestion and different systems it was only then we decided to bring this particular combination of himalayan rock salt and the cayenne pepper number one it is it has anti irritant properties cayenne pepper has the ability to ease stomach upsets ulcers sore throats spasmic and irritating coughs as well as diarrhea it is anti cold and flu agent when you have a cold or flu cayenne pepper helps break up congested mucus and gets it moving once the mucus starts to leave your body you will get some relief from many of the flu symptoms you may be experiencing it has anti fungal properties the result of one study indicated that cayenne pepper could effectively prevent the formation of fungal things in your body it helps in migraine headache many neuropaths have known health benefits of cayenne pepper specifically for migraine symptoms this may be related to cayenne pepper's ability to stimulate a pain response in a different area of the body thus reverting the brain's attention to a new site following this initial pain reaction the nerve fibers have a depleted substance p the nerve's pain chemical and the perception of pain is less it is anti allergy cayenne is a wonderful anti inflammatory agent and may even help in relief allergies digestive aid this spice is a well known digestive aid it stimulates the digestive tract increasing the flow of enzyme production and gastric juices this in turn aids the body's ability to metabolize the food we take into system cayenne pepper is also a wonderful medicinal herb for relieving intestinal gas it stimulates intestinal motion aiding in both assimilation and elimination anti and inflammatory properties makes it even a great herb for arthritis diabetes and herpes related nerve damage it helps in producing saliva an important key to excellent digestion and maintaining optimum oral health it prevents and treats blood clots it also helps in detoxifying the system cayenne pepper is known as circulatory stimulant it increases the pulse of our lymphatic and digestive rhythms by heating the body the natural process of detoxification is streamlined cayenne also causes us to sweat another important process of detoxification combined with lemon juice and honey cayenne tea is an excellent morning beverage for total body detox joint pain reliever as joint pain reliever it is extremely high in substance called which is used for joint pain relief cayenne pepper acts to cause temporary pain on the skin which in turn sends the chemical messengers from the skin to the joints offering relief for joint pains the antibacterial properties of the cayenne helps excellent food preserver and has been used traditionally to prevent food contamination from bacteria possible anti cancer agent a study done at loma linda university in california found that cayenne pepper can prevent lung cancer in smokers this may be again related to cayenne's high quality of caspian Other studies have also shown a similar reaction in cayenne's ability to inhibit liver tumors. It supports weight loss. 
The Laval University in Quebec found that participants who took cayenne pepper for breakfast were found to have less appetite, leading to less caloric intake throughout the day. Cayenne is also a great metabolic booster, aiding the body in burning excess amount of fats. It prevents heart health. Cayenne pepper helps in lowering the LDL, cholesterol and triglycerides. It is a remedy for two things and topical remedy. With so many qualities that cayenne pepper had, it was wise to use the Himalayan rock salt and cayenne pepper together to create combination that you can use as daily intake instead of table salt or common salt. This is why we promote the spices not out of fancy or whim but because of its medicinal properties which have been experienced by the people throughout the world, the experts who had been researching in these herbs and spices and based on their research we are trying to create our combinations of various spices and curries which are being made available for human consumption. I had spoken to you the other day about the Rajagara flower which comes as a seed not the fruit of a tree called Amaranth. Very important flower. Its leaves are also used as creating the bhajis and so one thing when we are talking about the peppers, the Congo pepper that we use in Trinidad is very harmful. It burns your stomach, whereas cayenne pepper is simply burns your mouth, if at all. Chili pepper, bird pepper, they burn your mouth, but they do not burn your stomach. And it was said that during the rainy season, when there is a lot of flies and all these things because of the rains, that time creating a little combination of the ginger, chili pepper and lime juice. That helps in preventing cholera and any kind of stomach ailment. As compared to Congo pepper and the pepper sauce made out of that, you should be using Tabasco sauce. At least it is fermented first, fermented in wooden pots and then and only then it is used to make the pepper sauce. It may not be as bitter as you may want it, but you remember your body is the temple and you have to take care of it and it is your responsibility, not my responsibility. I can speak to you about this, bring about all the research that is available about these products, but then the choice is of course yours, whether to use these set of information that is being made available to you through this program and through various other programs that are aired on this radio station. So when I was speaking to you about Amaranth, it is very rich in protein and its caloric content is much higher than the same amount of potato which is almost considered as an empty calorie. So stop or reduce the use of potato, instead replace it with sweet potato, green fig or ados. These are the root vegetables which have not been contaminated by any means as yet. Then in addition to maintain a proper health, you have to take the overall factor, not just taking one item not just switching over to the whole wheat flour or not just switching over to the fire salt, Himalayan rock salt. Just as when you go to change the oil in your car, you change the oil, you change the filter, gas filter, you change the air filter and you check every other thing and whatever needs change, you change it, whether it is dispatch or brake shoes or anything else. In the same way, change in the lifestyle means that you are using the, the cooking medium which is not trans fat and Dr. Marcola says that you have to reduce completely 
if not possible the use of trans fats like all the cheap oils that the cooking medium that are available on the shelves of the supermarket and replace it with naturally hydrogenated butter or ghee and coconut oil i had mentioned to you many times that every morning i take a stick of frozen coconut oil and eat it as the first thing in my first thing before breakfast and also i take the pure naturally hydrogenated clarified butter or ghee every day as part of my lunch or dinner when i use the roti and then is smear a little bit of or ghee onto the roti and use it so your natural intake of the ghee or the naturally hydrogenated oil increases to 1 tablespoon per day that is 15 ml per day which is the minimum requirement to change your cholesterol level from ldl to hdl and also along with the fire salt it helps to clear your heart arteries the arteries which tend to get the walls which tend to get thickened they maintain a natural and healthy tract which helps for the maintenance of the good heart cardiovascular health so when you use the whole wheat flour is stone grind whole wheat flour which is natural and it does not require any any other ingredients like baking powder to raise the roti when you are making it when you use the naturally stone ground whole wheat flour you do not need to add anything just knead the flour with water alone according to your consistency and make the roti roti basapshat or anything that you want to use for your purpose this is rich in bran rich in wheat germ and natural ingredients which are required to maintain a healthy lifestyle like it helps in diabetes but you remember the food is not medicine but if you are using it from the very beginning then it helps in maintaining the healthy lifestyle maintains your bodily health helps you in diabetes but when you are suffering from diabetes or cardiovascular or any other kind of ailment then first two things you have to do firstly you have to consult the physician to assess the situation and then also change the lifestyle instead of using the regular white flour use the whole wheat flour instead of using all kind of cheap cooking mediums switch over to naturally hydrogenated coconut oil that is available in the supermarkets as surabhi coconut oil or lakshmi coconut oil in two brands and two different sizes it is available of course we were also coming to you with the complements of deep frozen foods samosas cocktail samosas which is like finger foods available 15 in a pack then the vegetable potato and pea samosa is spinach and paneer samosa and chicken samosa these comes in the packing of 24 and 36 then the tan plain tandoori naan garlic naan aloo paratha paneer paratha and for the people who are living in the southern and the central area this saturday from 8:30 i will be in the gome market in prisal community center the market will be open from 8:30 to 4:30 in the afternoon and you can get these products if you are not finding it in the supermarket as yet because soon it will be available in hydro super markets and various other supermarkets because they are taking their own time to approve the products and soon you will have the indian ice cream which is in malai faluda flavor mango and tutti frutti flavor and various other types of samosas 
These products are available at Prem Singh's Puja Bhavan 6636084 Naipaul's Extra Food Vishnu you can call if you are in South Area 3373785 Price Club 6717777 Cost price in Lower Aranguez Better Deal Supermarket uh, Aranguez Main Road and soon will be available in high low food stores this is tausho buddha signing out this morning and for wholesale inquiries remember wholesale inquiries of any product that tausho buddha food network supplies you can call me at 6838587 in addition if you need any further information on any of these products please do give me a call 6838 Eight five eight seven. Keep on listening to the continued programming on Akash Vani one hundred six point five. Only this much for this morning. Cooking Tausho Buddha way. Cooking lovingly and meditatively.